It has been a year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a global pandemic. Since then, more than 2.6 million people have died around the world, 530,000 of them in the United States. We all lost something, a collective suffering, a collective sacrifice, a year filled with the loss of life and the loss of living for all of us. In his first primetime address Thursday, on the 50th day of his term, President Joe Biden outlined the steps his administration is taking to defeat the virus, including exceeding his own target of 100 vaccine shots in his first 100 days. We've actually on track to reach this goal of 100 million shots in arms on my 60th day in office. No other country in the world has done this. Biden said he is directing all states to make all American adults eligible to get the vaccine by the 1st of May. But he is facing a number of challenges, including vaccine hesitancy among some Americans and state governments ignoring federal health protocol guidelines, including Texas, which recently lifted its mask mandate. A mask, the easiest thing to do to save lives. Sometimes it divides us. States pit it against one another instead of working with each other. Analysts say divided views on vaccines and health protocols have been caused by politicization, particularly during the early days of the pandemic. People have been getting such mixed messages about public health, and the climate has been so polarized that there is a really distressing lack of public faith in science, in public health messaging. It's really understandable, given the mixed messages that people have heard, but I think it's one of the lasting harms that's been done. Earlier Thursday, Biden signed a 1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill into law. The stimulus package was passed by Congress without Republican support. This isn't a rescue bill. It isn't a relief bill. It's a laundry list of left-wing priorities that predate the pandemic. Biden will travel the country next week to tout the law bringing COVID-19 relief in what his administration calls the Help Is Here Tour. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News.